So you made it to week number two. You're either here because you're ready to make that commitment or you're still doing your research. And that's okay. You're making a big decision. This is a lifestyle change. It will take some effort to pull it off. So take it slow. Stock up on food. Yes, lots of food. You can't succeed at this if you're not prepared. So make sure to stock up on all the foods that you love to eat and that you're allowed on this diet. This diet or way of eating is not about deprivation, but it's about abundance. It's about adding fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains. It's about ingredients that nourish and fight disease, like adding garlic, turmeric, and ginger. Now you're eating fewer calories when you eliminate meat and dairy products from your diet. So you'll need to eat more bulk in order to get calories that you need from this diet. Eat until you're full and satisfied. I would suggest starting with three servings of fruits and five servings of vegetables or greens each day to get started. In addition to your potatoes, your pasta, your rice, and your bread. Expect delays. Oh, we've heard this so many times, but not referring to food. We usually hear it in traffic. But this time, I'm talking about diet. Digestive delays. Yes, gas. When I first transitioned, I was bloated all the time. Because you're taking in a lot of food and foods that you haven't eaten before on a regular basis. But as time went on, I was able to process all the fiber that my body wasn't used to processing. So start slow, gradually adding foods as you go. Switch your fruits and veggies as much as possible. If you're having bananas, apples, and strawberries this week, then you wanna choose another selection next week and do the same for your vegetables. Try new recipes for success. The more you know to cook, the more successful you'll be and the less your desire will be to cheat. I usually go to Pinterest for new recipes all the time, so I'll include a link to my Pinterest boards below. And my final tips for week two and a successful transition. Number one, remind yourself of why you're doing this. If you have a goal in mind, maybe losing weight, a healthier metabolism, or just living a healthier life, use those as the light at the end of the tunnel to keep you going. Number two, Remember, do not be hard on yourself. This is a journey, not a sprint, it's a marathon. Any mistakes you make, it's all a part of the learning experience. This is your journey, it's nobody else's journey. So you are accountable to yourself for this lifestyle. If you decide that it's too hard one day and you decide to have a piece of meat or some dairy, it's okay, you just pick back up and start another day. This diet is not an end all be all. This diet isn't unconditional. And the fact that you have added more fruits and vegetables to your diet is amazing in itself. So just know that doing that alone, you're successful. Pick up a magazine or a book to help you with your journey. Knowledge is power. Tip number four, chronometer.com. I'll include a link below. This is a website where you can log your food and it tells you the nutrition you're getting out of your food. So if you're lacking in nutrition, this website will let you know. And then all you have to do is adjust your diet to include the, the nutrients that you need on a daily basis. You won't have to do this you know, down the road when you already know what foods um, are nutritious and which ones aren't. Which ones carry empty calories and which ones you need. But chronometer.com is good for now. It's good for starters. And my final tip, which is my best advice that I could give today. Do your best. Do your best and just know that your best is all you can do. And that's enough for today. So those are all my tips. I hope this helps you. If you have a question or comment, please include that in the description area below. I'd love to hear from you about your journey. And if you see something you like, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week for week three. Good luck, guys.